Before this, the final group proceeds, I'm going to do the closing announcements now so that we can go away with the kind of energy that they're going to pro give us. Um, first and foremost, uh, just to, I know many of you know this already, but uh, this doesn't represent the conclusion of our discussions of these topics. Um, it, it represents actually a starting point. These discussions will be carried out, no doubt, with the new, renewed sense of purpose and energy that you've gotten from these conferences. So there will be future conferences to come. And it may be that this is, forms an uh, uh, um, uh, element of the fabric of our, our interactions with one another. So there will be a reflection gathering May 24th uh, uh, to discuss some of these topics. That's in your information package that you received. Lastly, and what is you know, customary in these sort of things, this conference was pulled off in a very short period of time. I was an unbeliever that we could get it done in such a short period of time. But the efforts of these uh, following uh, individuals and groups, uh, we couldn't have done it without them. So uh, we want to give them their due recognition. We want to thank Auxiliary Board Member Bronwyn Naylor, who, who spoke to the gathering earlier on today, the local Spiritual Assembly of, uh, of London, Ontario, for, for hosting the event the custodial staff of this fine school that has assisted us and guided us and hosted us. All of the numerous volunteers, including the ushers, who did a fantastic job, the audiovisual team, and the team that helped uh, bring our Zoom family here with us so that they could be here with us all of the facilitators in the various breakout rooms and all of the presenters in the plenary sessions. And lastly, to those people who work behind the scenes, the conference organizers, and the members of the conference task force, thank you so much. If I've left you out, please forgive me. And having said that, we'll turn it over to room, what is it again? B307. B307.